The first steps towards higher fuel efficiency standards on new cars sold in Australia will be taken later this year. The legislation will push manufacturers to bring more electric cars and fuel efficient vehicles to our shores. Reporter Jessica Rendell has more from Sydney. The new standards are set to come into place on the 1st of January 2025. That is, if all goes well in federal parliament this year, with legislation set to be introduced in the coming months. Under these new standards, car companies will be required to sell more fuel-efficient vehicles, and industry bodies are hoping that this will mean more of an uptake of electric vehicles here in Australia. The standards will be determined by average emissions per kilometre for new cars sold in Australia, and will only impact passenger vehicles and light commercial vehicles. Now, Australia has been dubbed a bit of a dumping ground for fuel inefficient vehicles because unlike other countries like China, the US, New Zealand and parts of Europe, we don't currently have fuel efficiency standards in place. Energy Minister Chris Bowen says that this news has been a long time coming. He says that Aussies are paying more at the petrol bowser than people in other countries because of our reliance on petrol and diesel. A reform that is long overdue. It should have been done a decade or so ago uh, and has, was done in other countries many, many years ago, including the United States, 50 years ago or so. This is a reform at its heart about choice. Modelling shows that by 2028, Australians could be saving up to $1,000 per car per year. Now, the reaction to this news has been largely positive, with the Farmers for Climate Action group saying it's welcome news. This will save regional Australians money, but also, really importantly, stop Australia being a dumping ground for low quality vehicles in the future. Independent Senator David Pocock says he'd like to see the new standards introduced a little earlier on the 1st of July this year for a six month penalty free trial period. But for now, it's looking like car manufacturers have until the 1st of January next year before they have to start selling more fuel efficient vehicles.